We scale our time axis from t to ct, so velocity v, which is dx dt, becomes dx by c dt or v by c, that is in units of light speed. So speed of a photon should be unity. Now speed is given by the slope of the world line with the vertical time axis of the rest frame. Therefore photon world line has to be a 45 degree straight line giving slope delta x by c delta t equals tan 45 equals 1. Any material object or observer moving uniformly relative to the rest frame S0 must have speeds less than that of a photon. So the angle its world line makes with the vertical time axis of S0 frame is less than 45 degree and the corresponding slope representing its speed has to be a fraction. If the relative speed of an observer is 0, then he obviously is in the rest frame S0 itself and his world line has zero slope and it coincides with the rest frame time axis. This means the vertical time axis of S0 is actually the world line of one of us observers belonging to S0. In the same spirit, the time axis of the moving frame S1 is nothing but the world line of one of the S1 frame observers. If he has a uniform relative velocity V by C with respect to S0, then time axis of S1 makes an angle tan inverse V by C with the time axis of S0.